Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new aviation jet video. Hope you're doing really, really well. So we are now flying back to Aberdeen from Parma. Um, today's flight time is roughly 3 hours and 12 minutes. Um, obviously it might be a bit longer, possibly a bit shorter, but um, we've got loads of headwind on the way back, unfortunately. So, yes. Um, so yeah, today... Uh, Pilling to Simpson 800, Sunwing Airlines, 3 hours 12 minutes, that's all I can really say. We're going to click fly now and connect to MSFS. We are departing 2-4 right today. As you can see, this is the winds that we're going to be having on departure. Um, not a lot of ACC around, as you can see, bits in the UK, but not as much up in Aberdeen. Um, so we're cruising at a flight level of 3-5-0, not 3-4. Uh, so if we go to Windy... Actually, no, well, yeah, we'll do 3 4. As you can see, we have headwinds all the way up to Aberdeen, so it'll be a lot longer than you expect. Um, and as you know, these are the winds here 290 at 11 knots, so it's not as bad as when we arrived, but um, it's quite down a bit. Okay, so let's get straight in back into the flight deck and get this flight back to Aberdeen. Okay, so here we are in the sim. As you see, deboarding has literally just about finished, about right? four passengers left until deal building completes. So we're just going to quickly open up the menu and press request boarding so that cup happens straight away. Um, we're going to get the rest of our details done here. So we're going to go to fuel and we're going to see what fuel we're taking today. So OFP, um, we are taking a fuel of 11729 kg. Um, nobody. 1179 uh, kg in LBS. 25858. 225858. Why is the jetway going? We need your back. We need the jetway back. Is it coming back again? Maybe not. Um, FMC payload set random uh, in it. Index ident position. Position is Lima Echo Papa Alpha. Route back to Echo Golf Papa Delta. Runway 24 right. 24 right, and today we are using the SID uh, Drago 2 Alpha, which is this one here. Uh, next page, I'm going to fill in the route and then I'll get back to you. It's a long route to fill out, unfortunately. So it's Drago, which then it's UN863. Yeah, well, I'll fill this out and then I will get back to you. Oh, okay, everyone, so that's the route completed. Execute the route. Perf page, reserves one, cost index five, cruising 340. Must have put it in the wrong position on the way down here. Uh, 6000, execute, flat five. Oh, sorry. Flat 5, trim 4.83. To be fair, it's pretty much there already. Um, and then V2 of 148. Cruising altitude 34. Voila. Uh, perfect. So now we just wait for boarding to complete. And then uh, we can get going. Okay everyone, so boarding has just completed, so let's head into the flight deck and we're going to do the rest of the bits and bobs. I can't remember actually where we left off, I went to go and edit the previous video. Um, we're being beeped out, so I suppose the doors are shut. I assume. Yes, okay. Right, let's prepare for pushback and departure. I'm pretty sure we have everything set. leave it. Look how fast the wind um the engine turbines are moving. Just shows you, doesn't it, how windy it is here.
Okay, it starts an engine too. Nice. Right, both engines are starting. Okay, Gen 1, Gen 2, APU off. Flap 1, Flap 2, Flap 5. Once the flaps are set, we'll do our flight control check. Okay, so full left, full right, full up, full down, full right left, full right right. Amazing. Releasing the parking brakes, bit of thrust, it's fine. And now we taxi to runway 24 right, so out of here, left, and then left again, then a right taxi up to the runway. So we're nearly at the runway, so we're going to pop on our landing lights here and also our strobe lights, like so. I'm going to get taken off. So we'll just come on here, Hotel 2. Are you blue? Taxiway. Just arm the auto thrust now. Okay, so 50%. Let's 
Stable and Toga. That wind's already kicking in. Checked. Oh, God. <laughs> Rotate. That was not great. Oh, God. Ouch. Gear up. I still need to get used to the physics on this aircraft in MSFS because generally it feels really hard to take these off in a straight line. Okay, let's go AP. There we go. We'll go flaps two. Okay, flaps one. Zoom. Nice flap noise that. And flaps up. Nice. And there's four thousand feet. Probably have an actually hold somewhere, don't we? Oh no, definitely do. Very cloudy here today. Did I start the clock? No. There's the sun. There it is. Okay, standard pressure. Now we're climbing. 2,200 feet per minute. Lovely. I'm in really interested to see how long this flight is going to take back and how heavy the headwind is. <laughs> Just hopefully it's not three hours long, but if that's the case, four or five won't finish about half six, seven o'clock. My time, not sim time. Sim time's only an hour behind, but you know. Okay, so there's 10,000 feet, landing lights off, runway turn off off, oh, oh god no, what am I doing, <laughs> it's just coal engines off tonight, sea belts can also come off now as well, and there everyone, thank you all for watching so far, and I'll see you all close to the top descent, enjoy the cinematics, bye bye.
back to the flight deck. So we're going to start planning for the arrival now. Sorry, I shut the door. And we're going to plan for the arrival now into Aberdeen. We've been in the air for 2 hours and 12 minutes. The last flight was 2 hours and 27 minutes. As you can see, this headwind has caused us quite a large delay. Uh, we have an 84 knot headwind, as you can see, so pretty awful. And um, go to the arrival, we're going to check the weather details over in Aberdeen. Uh, Echo Golf Pat. Oh, I'm not Echo Golf. E Echo Golf Papadelta. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Meta. Uh, winds are 330 at 13. So, the runway we'll be arriving on is 34. ILS 34, and there's no star, so execute. In at ref. Pop this in here. 340 is the course. There we go. Uh, 109 decimal 9 is the ILS frequency. There we are. And we can reduce altitude, altitude to about 10,000 feet. And there we have it, everybody. We plan for the arrival. Just like that. Anyway, I'll see you all closer to top of percent. Um, and yeah, not long left. See you shortly. Bye bye. Hello everyone, welcome back to the flight deck. So we're just past 10,000 feet as you can see. It's going to pop on the landing lights, take off and taxi lights on, and engine switches to continuous and also seatbelt signs on. Um, I'm also going to pop in the ILS frequency that we have for arrival. I'm just going to double check that we have the right, there we go, speed's changed a little bit now. So it's going to we uh, put that in. Um, speed I'm okay with the sail point, it's not till here and we have a headwind, so it shouldn't be too hard getting the speed down today. And um, also we can put flaps up when we need to. We are below um, the speed where we, sh where we camp as uh, flaps out. But yeah, see, it's a late afternoon arrival. Sun slowly setting. Shining bright on the Tui. I wonder what the wind speed here is now. I haven't checked in a little while. 10 knots, so yeah, much um, much better than what it was when we first took off. See, 2 hours and 27 minutes was a flat on the way, so it's 3 hours and 1 minute, an extra half an hour so far. Just shows you, doesn't it, how long this flight is with the headwind. Okay, so we're nearly at the decel point now. So we'll start to reduce speed a bit more. We'll say 200 knots and start to sail the flaps. We'll say flap one and flap two, just initially. There we go. And we'll arm the spoilers. We'll arm approach as well. Lovely arrival tonight. There we go, we're at the D cell point now. And just before the bend, we reduce speed to 180 knots, but. Don't do it just yet, yeah, some nine miles away from that. 
Just a lovely view tonight, isn't it? Never ever put in this livery either, so it's nice to find a new livery as well. Cool, there's 4,000. It needs to be 2,500 though before ATF, but I've armed approach, so it might change anyway. There we go. Speed slowly creeping up. We'll go flat five just to secure it, and we'll go 180 knots now. Bring in that range a bit. There we go, 180 knots, 1500 as well, perfect. We are on course, on track. We're roughly 8 miles out. Start the left turn very shortly to line up. Sun wing with a lovely sun beating on the wing right now. Perfect timing. There's a runway. We're descending on the glide slope. Someone commented saying, Why do you say you're descending on the glide path? I don't know. Because uh, we are. Never really thought about it. Okay, five miles out, 160 knots now, please. God, it's so sensitive. Flaps 10. We're gonna need to use the gear for some drag here. Flaps 15 and gear down. Look at that. Stunning. Wonderful. Let's go final landing speed now, which is 133 plus 5. Just a tiny bit later, can't I? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Flap 25. Flap 30. Flap 40. That might just chill on the wing view for a bit, honestly, view. Let the aircraft handle a few things. Just 
chill on the wing. It's turbulent, that's why I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to take over. Why is this speed so lagging behind today? What's about this net? I have control. Tiny bit high here. Oh my god. Talk about floating it. Jesus. Use up the whole length today. Right, six so dots manual brake and reverse is stowed. Luckily, it's quite a decent length of a runway. Although we just use the whole thing of it. <laughs> Flaps up. Cool. Okay, let's do a quick little tidy up then. Bam. Uh, strobe lights need to come off. This and come back to off. Maybe we can come on, and we'll just go to GSX, and we'll go to gates. We'll take, I don't know, gate four. We'll just take like British Airways. Smell food. It's lovely. Okay, so we're just gonna go down here somewhere. I believe it's right. Ah, oh, there it is. There's the stairs. You can see them. Okay, cool. So Gen One, Gen Two. Tax I can come off. Uh, we're good there now. Seven, six, five, and four. Why is it so slow to turn that? I'm really able to stretch that. Strange. Got to do some corrections now. No. There we go. Perfect. Slow down. Slow down. Stop. 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 There we go. Parking brake set. Engines cut off. Couldn't see any martial arts. Probably behind this wall over here. Beacon light off. Seabot signs off. Oh, he said very good parking. Oh, perfect. Once again, perfect parking. There we go. Uh, yeah, key the packs off. It's not exactly warm up here. Uh, let's go to GSX and request Steve Baldwin. That flight was three hours and roughly about 15 minutes. A lot longer, half 45 minutes longer. But it's okay. Um, what was I going to do, ground power? Open, open, open. Ground services, set chocks, request ground power.
Ground power on, APU off. Fuel pump come off as well, that's fine. Wing light off, why is the wing light on? Um, yeah, there you are. So everyone, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is a member requested flight of, not this one, but the rotation was. Um, but yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Landing rate was minus one, two, four, which was smoother than I thought, considering we floated it for a while. We lost quite a bit of speed, but yeah, not too bad, not too bad. But yeah, thank you for watching. Um, any suggestions, do let me know. I do add them all to the list. It just depends when I get them done. But um, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.